All right, so we're joined now by Eli Pikuyamsa, one of our uh, immense defensive anchors uh, for this team, played defensive midfield tonight in Jalen's place. A uh, huge performance. Um, if you have questions, as usual, do your uh, raise the hand function on Zoom. Uh, but Eli, if you could just start us off um, with your thoughts on the match and what it means for you guys to, to go to the final and you can talk into the computer. Um, well, yeah, it feels great to go to the finals and uh, I mean it was it was not the prettiest game but it doesn't matter we we got the three points and we defended at the end uh, with our hearts out so that was the most important thing right, Taylor. um you talked about it a little bit there but that defending at the end can you just kind of talk about that cohesive effort there with the team yeah I mean it was one of the longest 10 minutes probably <laughs> Uh, I can I think I can talk uh, like about everyone's opinion but yeah they were pushing hard uh, crossing balls into the box all the time and Abby was like don't you leave just stay in cover because obviously they wanted to make it to 1-1 one, one, so but it was important that we made it. And then what does it kind of mean to you to um, make the NWSL Channel Trip final? It's big. I mean, I haven't been in so many finals myself, and I don't. Abby actually asked uh, before the game how many has been in the semifinals, and it wasn't that many. So I think it's it's a big thing for us as players, and probably for Louisville too. Uh, Becky, go ahead. Hey, Ellie, congratulations on the big win. Um, Thanks. you've had to step up into you know a, a relatively new position up into the the number six position due to Howell's injury and play with a midfield that has shifted a whole lot. Can you just tell us a little bit about the experience? Because you've had a lot of success, apparently, obviously, in the last week. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it haven't been easy. Uh, Jay's been uh, injured. But yeah, obviously, I uh, I played in the beginning of the season uh, there. So I have some some uh, knowledge about that spot and uh, before uh, Louisville, too. So it's also helps a lot that Abby is behind me and I always say treat me like a dog so I'll just run run in front of you and tell me where to go so it's been okay. Michael go ahead. Uh, you mentioned that it wasn't the the prettiest game you've ever played in but as a defender is that something you relish or would you much rather play in a, a more free-flowing match? I mean <clears throat> yeah of course <laughs> Uh, it's like I said, it wasn't a pretty game, and we made it hard for ourselves. I would say, um, yeah, the first half, for example, we gave some some chances. Maybe we should not. And well, yeah, the second half, we knew that they're of course coming for for the goal. So uh, it's easier when we can keep the ball and just play our own game. But sometimes. It just ends up like that, and uh, when the other team is pushing, and it's hard to uh, hard to get uh, out from their flow. Any other questions for Ellie? All right, 